in this video, we are going to make our own Paytm sound box, what we called as Techie SMS sound box, in which we'll be getting the audio feedback based upon the amount received by scanning the QR code on the box. Now, if you are from India, you must be familiar about the sound boxes from Paytm because they are in almost all the stores as of now. So, using those sound boxes, the merchant gets the audio feedback about the amount received in his or her account. So, he don't need to check the phone, you know, every now and then. Paytm par 50 rupee prapt hue. And in this video, I'll be showing the complete process about how we made our own Paytm sound box and how you can make it too. It's really very easy to make and anyone can make it by just following a couple of steps. And also making our own sound box has a couple of benefits. Like you can add your own personalized voice notes in that sound box. Like, hey Sachin, you have received this particular amount and you can add any voice notes that you want because hey, come on, you have made it. Secondly, uh, by making your own sound box, you can stop the Paytm sound box frauds that are happening in the market. Let me show you one of the fraud. Kitna hua? Tinso hua. Paytm karta hu. Paytm par teen so rupee prapt hue. Aa gaya bhai. So yeah, by making our own sound box, we can add our own voice, our own voice notes. So chances of getting the fraud is totally negligible. So we were starting about how to make this project. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to this channel as we come up with these and many other interesting projects in the field of IoT, automation and electronics. That being said, let's start with Techie SMS Soundbox. Before starting the video, let me tell you one really interesting and useful feature of our sponsor LTM which is a PCB designer based software company and that feature is called as Design Review. Using LTM, you can add any member to your project and after that, they can highlight any fault in the schematic or can report availability of components in the inventory on the PCB to your designer so that they can visualize these components and can work upon it to provide a smooth flow of PCB production even if they both are in any corner of the world. So that's the design review feature and even you can try out this and many other features of LTM for free by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description as you'll be getting an access to free trial version using that link. Now let's start with our video. Okay, so when I saw this Paytm sound box for the very first time, I was quite fascinated about how this piece of technology actually works. Well, initially I thought they must be using some Paytm APIs in the backend from which they are getting the information regarding that transaction and many of you must have thought the same, right? So I started researching about the Paytm APIs and I even found one page where all the APIs were mentioned. but. I didn't find the particular API for just receiving the payment. And secondly, using those APIs for making our project seems quite confusing for me at first. And if you don't know coding and programming, well, it will be very difficult for you to replicate this project. So what we did is we found out a different and a simpler way to make the exact same project without using any APIs. Yes, that's possible. Let me show you how we did that. Okay, so now I'll explain the whole logic and working of our own Techie SMS sound box, starting with the GSM model. So yes, here we are using the GSM model, the SIM 800 module, along with the SIM card, which is nothing but a secondary register SIM card with PTM. Okay, so here, of course, I won't be inserting my primary SIM card because, hey, come on, on that primary SIM card, I used to get the uh, OTPs, the calls and every important stuff. So I won't be inserting that card into this sound box. So rather, I will be, you know, using another SIM card. Now, PTM has a very great feature. It allows to add five secondary, you know, numbers other than the primary registered number on which we can get the notification of the payment. Okay, so the steps are very simple. You just need to uh, go into the PTM business business dashboard 
under the notification section, you just need to add the number and you'll be getting an OTP and then you'll be easily able to get the SMS on the secondary register SIM card as well. Okay, so I inserted the secondary register SIM card into the GSM module. And now the next step is we are reading SMS only from Paytm. Okay, so the logic is clear. We are re receiving the SMS and based on the SMS received, we'll be calling out the numbers. Okay, but there are a couple of challenges in this particular process. The first challenge is we just need to read the message received from Paytm. We don't want to read any other messages but here's one catch paytm doesn't send the sms from a number it is an automated like computer generated message okay on the phone we get to see that the message is received from ipaytm okay so that's not a number so when we you know received this sms and when we opened the serial monitor we found out that it is not a number rather it is a mixture of number and characters it's the whole string from which we are receiving the message okay but uh, when we try to do a couple of more payments like five to six times when we did the payment and we set you know listed down that string separately we found out one common thing in that which is the string was different uh, like for all the time but the one thing was common which is the number in between those string okay so the number in between those string was remaining constant for all the sms that we are receiving from the paytm side okay so we got one solution here so here we put a filter that if we are receiving an sms that contains this particular number in between well that's the sms from paytm and we are interested in that sms only okay so that filter we have put here after putting the filter, now we are clear that we'll be receiving the SMS from Paytm only. So what we are doing is we are filtering out the amount, filtering out the amount from whole SMS. Now the message that we receive from Paytm has a couple of information like the date, time, the transaction ID, the amount that we receive, all of that. And out of all those details, we are just interested in the amount in rupees that we have received from that payment, okay? So here we put that filter. So by running a couple of for loops, we are filtering out that amount and we are storing it in a separate variable inside our code, okay? So now we are clear, we got that amount in rupees. And after that, we are passing on that information to the mp3 module plus amplifier module now here i have used the df mini uh, player for the uh, as an mp3 player and i also attach an amplifier to amplify the sound and in the end i have attached a speaker that will speak out the amount in rupees okay now why choose this df mini mp3 player because it is quite easy to use so inside this mp3 player you just need to you know insert the sd card which contains all the file recordings all the mp3 recordings okay and with the help of the controller so as a controller here i have used the esp32 board which is controlling both GSM module and this amplifier and the mp3 module. So what we can do is we can pass on the signal from the controller that hey mp3 player just play the file number 1.mp3 and it will be playing that particular file. Similarly I can you know give commands to play any of the file from the SD card and it will thoroughly play the sound. So it's very easy to use that's why I used it. But here is one great catch you can say if I want to you know tell the amount starting from rupees 1 to rupees 20,000 I need to have those 20,000 separate recordings. Now here I'm saying 20,000 is just because on the official PTM page it says that at once uh, on the QR code we can send amount uh, at max up to 20,000 rupees only. So let's just stick to 20,000 only. So if you want to utter uh, amounts in rupees from 1 to 20,000 we need to have 20,000 separate recordings to speak out those numbers. Now <laughs> recording 20,000 files is a really hectic and a time consuming process, isn't it? But hey, we chunk down that to just 29 recordings. Yes, by doing just 29 recordings, we can speak out the amount starting from rupees one up to rupees 99,999. Yes, it's possible. Let me show you how we shrink down from 20,000 to just 29 project so what we did is we recorded these many recordings only starting from 1 2 3 4 to 20 okay so this many 20 recordings we need to do from 1 to 20 after that we don't need to do 21 22 we need to do like 30 40 50 60 70 80 and 90 so this uh, many recordings like this seven recordings we need to do and after that we need to record as hundred and thousand not one hundred and one thousand only hundred and thousand okay so this one to twenty so these are the twenty recordings this 30 to 90 this means seven recordings like 20 plus 7 27 and this two recordings uh, will be equal to 29 recordings so using this 29 recordings you can do all the task up to 99,999 let me show you some of the examples like how we can do that okay 
For example, let's just say a number as 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, so what we are doing is we will not be using this whole number as a variable, rather than we will be chunking it down to a separate number. So, okay, so it will be separated as 5 and 4 and 3 and 2. So these are the four numbers we have divided. And after that, we'll be checking out the number and its position. So this is at the thousandth uh, position. So what we'll do, we'll play the file as 5. So this will be play. After that, we'll be playing as thousand so it will be like five thousand okay so five thousand is clear then we'll second second number and its position second number is four so we'll be playing four and its position is at the hundredth position so we'll be playing as four hundred like five thousand four hundred then three and its position is the tenth position so it is ultimately 30 so we'll be playing as 30 and two is at one's position so we'll be just playing as two so we did that so it's playing as five thousand 432 rupees pretty simple pretty convenient right let's just take the maximum example like 9999 9, 9, 9 and 9 okay so this number is the maximum number we can play using this combination let me show you how first of all we'll be separating out all the numbers okay so all the numbers are separated now we'll be checking the number and its position starting with the first one so it is as 9 and it is at 10,000th position so we'll be checking the two numbers uh, collectively so it is like 99 so we'll be playing as 99 and then we'll be playing as 1000 so it's 99,000 then this number which is 9 at 100th position so it will be playing as 900 again this is 9 at the 10th position so it will be played as 90 and this is a 9 at the 1 position which will be 9 so it's 99,999 rupees so we can play all the numbers up to this using the combination of just 29 recordings isn't this amazing okay so that's how we can reduce the number of recordings to just 29 to say the amount till 99,999. So we added a new block here called as separating number. So as soon as we receive the number in the, or the amount in rupees that is stored inside the variable, for example, if the amount is 5, 4, 3, 2, we'll be separating those number as 5 and 4 and 3 and 2, and then we'll speaking out it separately like 5,430, and two so this is how we'll be separating the numbers and all the separate numbers will be spoken by this mp3 player and this is how we will be able to you know know how much payment we have received via that paytm qr code using our own sound box called as techie sms sound box and uh, yeah that's the logic about how our project works so for making this project, you'll need these many components whose lists and links are attached in the article whose link you can easily find in the description of this video. After getting all of them, you need to connect them according to this schematic diagram. Now to make this project more compact and neat, we designed our own custom PCB and gave its order directly to JLC PCB. Now I mean, you can try out JLC PCB for your custom PCB based order in very simple steps. You just need to upload the Gerber file of the PCB project Select the color masking if you want and just place the order. Now as I have selected the fastest delivery option, I got the PCBs delivered within a week. So here is the PCB for Techie SMS sound box. And after getting the PCBs and shouldering all the components on it, the final project looks like this. Neat and very compact. So after completion of the hardware part, I started with the recordings of the number. So initially I recorded those 29 numbers separately and I also recorded some extra recordings like Techie SMS sound box, powering up, network connected. Hi Sachin, we received an amount of rupees. <laughs> and after doing all the recordings, I added those files into the SD card, which I later inserted in the DF player mini. Now if I take you to the code side then, here is the code. Now explaining this code is very difficult as it got a lot of mathematical calculations and conditions in it. So you just go through it and self learn it as we have provided enough commands to make you understand the code. So after that we uploaded the code onto the ESP32 board and with this we come to the end for the tech part of the project. Now to make our project looks more or less like the actual Paytm sound box, we got a 3D design for the casing of this project, which we later got it 3D printed. So after getting that 3D print, we assembled all the components one by one and inserted everything inside the case. So that's how our project looks like. 
So here we attach two buttons and one LED on the top of the project and what's their purpose you may ask? Well, one of those button is the reset button. So in case our project goes in some infinite loop, we can have an option to reset the project. Uh, still, we have tested this project for a couple of times and it doesn't go inside any loop, but still having a reset button is a safer option. And the second button is called as the previous message button. Now, if you've seen those Paytm sound boxes, then in, in those sound boxes, they also have a button to, you know, uh, speak out the previous amount received just for confirmation. Similarly, we have added that feature in our TechSM sound box as well. So by pressing that button, we'll be able to listen to the previous amount received on our account. And after that, the LED is for indicating whether a project is connected with the network or not. So you can consider it as a network indicator. So these are some features that we have added to our project. Now to make our project looks more attractive, we got some stickers printed for it and one by one, we stick it on all the sides of the box. Now in the front, we got this QR code for the account, which you can also get it for your account easily from the Paytm business dashboard. So finally, we are done with all the steps required for the project. And here is the final ready look of TechSMS Soundbox. So before testing it out, do click the like button if you're really excited to see how the actual project works. Do click it right now. Well, now let's see how this project actually works. Yeah. TechSMS Soundbox, yeah. powering up. Network connected. So after you power up the project, these are some commands it will speak out as it gets ready to accept the payment. And also, as you can see, the network LED is on. So now we are good to go to do the payment. So first, I'll try to do the payment using the Paytm app only. Great, we got the audio feedback for the payment. Now let's try with the Google Pay this time. Amazing. So this will work with all those UPI apps that we are using in our day to day lives. Now let us test that previous message button and let's see if it works or not. Hi Sachin, we received an amount of rupees. Great. So it spoke out the last amount that we received into our account. So everything seems to be working pretty fine. Okay, so that was our Techie SMS Soundbox project. I hope you liked it and I hope you got to learn something new from it. Well, if is it so, do consider liking this video and just tell YouTube algorithm that this video is worth watching because based upon your likes and comment, it will be recommended to the new YouTube user. So do click the like button. Also do let me know in the comments about what are your suggestions regarding this project? Do you think we should add a couple of more features to our DIY Paytm sound box? Or do you think there is some better way to make the same project? Do let me know your thoughts and suggestions down in the comments of the video. And before ending, I would like to thank my Patreon supporters and YouTube members for constantly supporting me and for my work. Well, yeah, that being said, I am just ending this video here. And now just wait for my next one, then explore, learn, share with me. Techie SMS.